I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm twisted in the bitch out here, but we at the touch of Italy out here in Cleveland. I got one question. What's your message to your ex? When you get the picture of her, Now, a lot of people got exes. Almost damn near everybody in the fucking world got exes. Everybody got something they want to say to their ex. Everybody got some deep-seated issues about their ex. So we about to uncover those real quick. So if y'all come with me, y'all about to see. They talking about 30. You got to be 30 to get in, nigga. What's the point of being 21, nigga? That shit crazy. I see some shorties walking up. What's your name? Jess. Jess? How you doing tonight, Jess? I'm good. What's your name? Dashiki. Dashiki? That ain't your name. All right, Dashiki and Jess. Y'all enjoy your night tonight? I ain't gonna lie, Jess. You look great. Wait, hold on. Give me your hand real quick. Let me get a 360 right quick, Jess. Yeah. Jess. So, look, I got a question, y'all. Let me get in between y'all real quick. We're gonna start with Dashiki, because I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting a vibe from her. Like, she got some shit to say about her ex. My message to my ex. Yeah. God bless you. What about you, Jess? What's your message to your ex? May the Lord be with you. Damn, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all done turned over a new leaf. Okay, okay. You know what? I ain't even gonna try to apply negativity because y'all didn't learn how to move past these niggas, all right? Absolutely. And y'all... And Jess, I feel like you moved past them just to get to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. My name Ron. What up? All right, what up with you, Ron? All right, man. You enjoying your night out here? Yeah, for sure. All right, bro. I got one question, man. What's your message to your ex? Sorry I did you that way. I fuck with that. That's some real shit, dog. That's some uh, that's some mature shit. All right, for sure. Well, uh, can I ask you like why you said why why that's your answer? Because I I feel how she felt now. All right, man. I'm sitting here with the little homie. <laughs> Jay, Jada. All right, <laughs> all right, Jada. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. All right, so look, what's your message to your ex? Um, my message to my ex is, I hope he's doing good. I hope he's doing good. I don't. If you hope he's doing good, why y'all ain't together? Because I don't trust that bitch, so we don't need to be together. Y'all want to know something on this beautiful morning? Oh, good morning, by the way. I ain't gonna lie. Where my manners at, bro? I gotta. Yeah, I got I was raised right, like. But um, this is my last little ride in my car through Cleveland for a minute. And as I ride through these streets of Cleveland, I just for my you know my last ride through my hometown before I dip. It just makes me feel one thing, and, and it solidifies one feeling I've always known. Next car I'm riding through the city and gotta be a double R. It gotta be. I'm a pretty fair guy. Double R. That new cat. I mean, that Cadillac truck go crazy. Shit. If I can sit, if I can drive through here with the Cadillac truck, you know, school my sisters up, you know, get them up out of here in that Cadillac truck. I ain't gonna lie. I think that's a fucking accomplished mission, y'all. Right. I love my Toyota. I will always love you, baby. All right. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna ride this. I'm gonna drive this car to the wheels fall off, man. That was always my promise that I made to this car when we first, you know, linked up. You know, I always told Shorty I ain't never gonna leave her side. You know, no matter how rusty and ratchet she get, I said I was always gonna stick with you because I knew greater was to come. And I said, You roll with me, I'm gonna roll with you with your ratchet ass. And she rolled with me, and I love her for that. You gonna miss me, man. <laughs> Stop, I said I was gonna do this. Oh, shit. Man, we in this bitch, man. On the way to the airport. What? We got Nobu right here. He riding in his bag for the first time. He don't even realize, bro, about to be up in the sky. I'm sorry, I'm sweating, man. I'm I'm extremely, you know. Hey, nigga, get back in your bag, dog. Nigga, We here, boy. Bro been down there tweaking, like, he was tweaking a ride here, but you know, since he been in here, he been real quiet. I was the plane ride the same way. I'll let y'all in a second. Chopper, 
Hit him in the chin, bro. I'm knocking him. I don't need to talk, I'm knocking him. Yeah. Uh. Pay attention, nigga. Class in session. Everybody here so damn nice, bro. They fucking with me and Nobu, but I gotta figure out what type of cat Nobu is. Cause for some reason, I guess I'm a bad cat. I don't know, I don't know what type of cat Nobu is. It don't make no sense to be this fucking hot. All right, y'all. I'm in the house. I'm gonna give y'all a tour soon. Oh, shit. Y'all probably wondering where I'm at. It's 105 out here right now. It's hot as fuck. Y'all heard me earlier, right? This shit is crazy. But uh, yeah, y'all. This is where I'm at. This is a new home. Um, a lot coming. I'm exhausted. Um, I can finally say I'm jet lagged. I've always wanted to see that, my guy. I've always wanted to see it. No, you get to see it. I got on a plane in Cleveland. Y'all, I mean, everybody knows this already. It's a time difference by like I think two, three hours or some shit. Got on a plane on Cleveland in Cleveland at one twenty eight. Landed here at, in Vegas at three. In Cleveland, it's currently seven. That's a mind fuck. I can't even fucking think about it. It make me more tired. I'm gonna go to sleep because mm, it's still early here. And I kind of want to do some sightseeing, all right? And it's just a message to y'all real quick. I haven't even got started yet, man. I'm being so real with y'all, man. Like, I haven't even got started yet. This is just the beginning. And so for any of y'all out there, man, who... Damn, nigga, you is rude. So any of y'all who feel like y'all don't know it's fear stopping y'all from taking a leap of faith, because let me keep it a buck with y'all, bro. Like I ain't even you know took all the leap of faith I'm supposed to take for my dreams, yeah, man, or get what I want out of life. But fear is stopping y'all from doing anything that would make you happy or make your life wholesome. And you know it's fear is the thing that's like stopping you from that. I just want to let you know one thing. The longer you decide to stay scared, the longer you give fear any leg to stand on, the stronger it's going to get. So think about it like this. That might sound like a little simple. If you've been scared to ride a bike for three years, by that fourth year, it's going to amplify. By that fifth year, you're gonna damn near think it's impossible to the point where that sixth year is gonna be a fit. It's gonna it's gonna be a part of your imagination. You you gonna think it's a, it's something as simple as that. I'm just using that as an example. So let's bring it all full circle. Let's do it, man. I'm learning now. It's not a lot of people in people's life. It's not common to have somebody in your life telling you to just do it, take a leap of faith, because we're in a world where people are like literally led by fear, man. And so with being led by fear, they're going to direct the, their loved ones by fear, all right? And it's not their fault because it's just how the world is wired, you know? But I oh, you get niggas like me and niggas that I don't listen to who tell me shit like that. Like, bro, just do it, man. Because you're going to feel a lot happier once you get to that get to that point that you want. What I always tell myself is, hey, Trey, if that feeling after you actually conquer what you want to do, you're going to feel great. Just do it, nigga. All right, y'all. Let me get some sleep. Deuces. Bitch, she exotic, just like the pack got me knotted Feeling blue like hypnotic, could turn this juice to a solid Give our bread like deposits, today I fill up my pockets And if the pussy wants